I'm Sarah Locke, Associate Dean of Dual Credit and E-Learning at Weatherford College. We're glad you've decided to take dual credit classes with us. I'm going to give an overview of what dual credit is, explain how to get started, and offer a couple of tips for success. First, dual credit gives high school students a chance to earn college credit before graduating high school. Students take Weatherford College classes that are also counted for high school credit. That's the dual part, and it's probably the most important thing to keep in mind. These are college classes with college instructors, college expectations, college subject matter, and college grades. Even when the classes are taught by a teacher at your school, that teacher must have the same credentials as any other professor at Weatherford College. Students should be emotionally and intellectually prepared to work hard and stay self-motivated. Dual credit classes are a great opportunity for students to earn college credit at community college tuition rates and to get a jump start on two or four year degrees while they have the support of parents and high school administrators. It's important to remember though that college students are expected to take initiative and be self-motivated. Students will need to learn to check email, access their Canvas classrooms multiple times a week, and contact instructors when they have questions or need extra help. The second part of the dual nature of dual credit is that there are two processes for enrolling in classes, one with the high school and one with the college. While the first step with the high school is telling your counselor you're interested in dual credit, there is a separate process for enrolling with the college. That process is outlined on the Weatherford College website. Just go to wc.edu and enter dual credit in the embedded search bar. You're going to need to apply to the college using the Apply Texas system. You'll need to take the TSI exam and pass at least the reading portion and probably the writing for an English class, the math portion for a math class or a major science class. You'll need to fill out the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, if you want to apply for the dual enrollment grant. You'll need to enroll in Weatherford College classes. Arrange for payment of tuition and fees. Contact the college if you need accommodations. And purchase or rent textbooks. Remember, enrollment, tuition payment, accommodations, and books are all separate processes with the college. Colleges work on a semester system, so you'll need to do this for both the fall and the spring semesters for every year that you're in dual credit. We do have a dual enrollment grant for eligible students. Families need to fill out the FAFSA and list Weatherford College as a recipient. Parents will need a social security number or tax ID for the FAFSA. Families without social security numbers can fill out the TASFA, the Texas Application for Student Financial Aid. The WC Financial Aid Office will use this information to determine eligibility for WC's dual enrollment grant, which covers up to six hours of tuition per fall and spring semester. This will not affect future financial aid eligibility because it's not Pell money. The final part of the dual in dual credit is that dual credit students are our students, as well as the high school's students. Dual credit students are college students, so they're entitled to the same services that non-dual credit students receive, like advising, tutoring, and library services. We're here to help support you on your educational pathway. If you have questions, please email us at dualcredit at wc.edu. Go Coyotes and welcome to Weatherford College.